The next grammar point is more construction with the postposition co. In this grammar point, we will take the construction where the subject of a sentence takes the postposition co. In few earlier grammar points, we learned some construction where the subject takes the postposition co. For example, pasan, chahiye, the verb lagna, the verb milna. Let's now learn a few more such constructions where the subject takes the postposition co. The phrases malum hona and pata hona mean to know or to have knowledge of. They are synonyms and can be used interchangeably. When malum hona and pata hona, the subject takes the postposition co. Keep in mind the phrase malum hona and pata hona are only used for information such as name, address or news. They are not used for skills such as a language, swimming or singing. Let's take some example sentences. Mujhe rasta malum hai, I know the way. Usko meri kahani malum thi, he knew my story. In the second example, the word kahani is feminine. That's why the verb in the past tense is also feminine. This means that the verb is dictated by the thing known or the information that is expressed in the sentence. The verb changes according to the number and gender. Since the subject of the sentence or the doer in the sentence is with the postposition ko, it will not dictate the verb. The verb will change in number and gender according to the information or the knowledge that is expressed in the sentence. Let's now take the verb ana in the meaning of to know. The verb ana, as we all know, means to come. It also means to know. Unlike pata hona and malum hona, the verb ana in the meaning of to know is used only for skills such as language, driving, swimming, etc. In such constructions too, the subject of the sentence takes the postposition ko. In the sentence, the person who knows, who has the knowledge, goes with the postposition ko. The verb ana is dictated in number and gender by the skill expressed. Let's take some examples. Usko use angrezi aati hai. He knows English. Knowing English is a skill and English is a feminine noun. All languages are feminine. That's why aati hai. The verb will be dictated in number and gender by the skill possessed. English in this case. Pehle Harish ko Rusi aati thi. Earlier Harish knew Russian. Again, Russian is feminine. That's why aati thi. The feminine form in past. Kya us ladke ko ye kaam aata hai? Does the boy know this job? or how to do this job. Kaam is masculine, that's why masculine conjugation of the verb ana, aata hai. Mujhe gaadi chalana nahi aata. I don't know how to drive, I don't know driving. All the skills expressed by the infinitive in the verb will take the masculine form because infinitive is a masculine noun. For instance, gaadi chalana, driving is a masculine noun. The verb ana in the meaning of to know is very common. In fact, it's more common than janna. You will have many people ask you in India, Aapko Hindi aati hai? Do you know Hindi instead of Aap Hindi jante hain? Finally, just to recap, whenever you want to use the verb to know for information, use the phrase malum hona or pata hona. And when you want to use the verb know for a skill, use the verb ana. And also remember the subject takes the postposition ko.